Uh, Green's been very lucky for us over the years. Um, I mean, uh, uh, Dad's had a lot of success with these green colours, and uh, uh, you know, so so we thought, okay, well, let's stick to the green theme, and uh, uh, you know, obviously find something that's that's catchy with it, and, and, and lightning is a is a very fast thing. And how are you? Thanks, Warren. Very well, thank you. I put the ads on today that we can at least distinguish each other. <laughs> Good to have you here. It's one of the big here ones. Thank you, too. And, uh... So, so I'm a lawyer by profession. I'm uh, been in mist for more than a year now, but still very young, obviously. My hairline deceives me, so fit it. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, I'm a lawyer by profession, but uh, truly my heart lies with uh, race. I've always been involved since uh, I've been basically even able to crawl. Uh, I've, I've, I've had It's, it's a family business for him, um, so it was inevitable that I'd somehow get involved in racing eventually. Uh, and uh, yeah, recently I've been uh, appointed as a director of the Race Owners Association. Uh, the reasoning behind that is that I believe that a younger voice to hear in racing in certain bodies that make influential decisions as to the future of race, be it here, uh, how Tang or Cape Town. Uh, uh, Eastern Cape, it's important having ideas that are new and fresh. Viewing the racing from the lens of a person that was born uh, in the 90s. Well, <laughs> <laughs> your uh, advice to, to Zander and all the way, I mean, was it to, uh, you know, we don't say in a bad way, steer away from racing, but was it, you know, go and study or, or come to the stables? What was your advice to him as he was growing up? Well, no, basically gave you the same advice that my dad gave me. You see, better go study and get something behind your name because uh, uh, being a trader is tough and, you know, the, the, the good times are very good and, and the bad times are very bad and it's feast and, 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 and famine, a hell of a lot more feminine than feast. <laughs> so uh, my dad tried the same approach with me and uh, I went to study the horses. Yeah, I don't pretty much it, 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 he's, a, it, he's a bug that bites you that you can't get rid of. But I mean, what a gang we are in. And uh, I tried the same with Zander. He's obviously a hell of a lot more intelligent than I am. So, <laughs> so he could actually go for the, for the, for the, the uh, lawyer's degree and, and, and uh, did it in, in, in nice time. And, uh, you know, this is admitted and, and he's, he's, he's set on his way with that. But uh, it seems like the same with me. He, he can't get away of horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the way I was. I didn't get a sucker out of the end.
Uh, no, 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 no. I've got a few of those. But, uh, no, 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 no. Um, at, uh, how is Toby? How is your dad? Very, very well, Warren. It's, it's, it's so nice to still have him around at the stable. He's still, still at the yard every day. It gives us a harder time and every day. He's 18 now and, and still going strong. And, you know, we're really blessed with him and my mom is out. So, so, yeah, you know, he doesn't come racing that often anymore. You know, the trip racing with Lucas and take and it's still, but he loves to watch it at home and, you know, be the, be the force behind the scenes. And, you know, he, he just loves horses to be up with horses and that's, that's his passion. So... Now they enjoy it. So, I mean, I think the big advantage of uh, going to study a profession or going to study to be part of a profession is that you meet people that are also on the same type of trajectory. Young people are interested by the address. They just don't know how to access it. And they are unsure about how does one partake in it. Um, so generally what I would do, is that I would invite a bunch of friends and have them come along and have them see what racing is about and have them enjoy the experience, teach them how to have a bet, teach them how to read forward, uh, take them down to the track to hear the horses running on the ground and not far away. And it's an experience in itself and it kind of gets people hooked to the extent where they constantly ask me when can we go racing again or when is the best time when you're available, that type of thing. So uh, I believe it, uh, uh, it if one starts, starts grassroots, what can really rebuild and rejuvenate race into a certain extent. But it's a multifaceted effort and it needs to come from every part of the um, uh, Again, one of the reasons why I think uh, I took on the opportunity and we are away. Let's talk about green light there. Right, so we had dad in 2020 when COVID had started thinking as to, well, the racing industry is surely shrinking and, and one of the most important things is try and get rejuvenated again. Uh, we started thinking among the minds, well, how can we make racing more accessible to the general racing public? People that are passionate about us, that enjoy watching not only enjoy the betting, but actually follow the horses as if they are sports stars and the jockeys as well to a certain extent. But I mean, you, you, you do read into the past, you read it, it's South Africa's case now, also like Wolf Cow and, and uh, um, so on and so forth, Ibugu, um, Horse Chestnut. People remember those horse names with uh, uh, reverence and fondness. And we thought, well, okay, but why don't we start a idea that is based on uh, a sports team to a certain extent. That's where the logo cuts from. The design is very similar or takes inspiration from American sports teams. Specifically NFL sports teams, they generally have a cartoonized version of a logo. And before this stands out, people recognize uh, that, well, once they start thinking, I think it's been too big. Um, so, so we then formulated a concept which is now all green light where we want to give involvement to the racing public uh, in a way that is new and fresh and hasn't really been tested before. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a, a really new concept of that. I mean, we've been thinking out of the box, which is great. I mean, you know, some of the syndications and all that, I mean, everybody has tried that before. Um, none of them have just swollen by the wayside. Yeah, so it's, yeah, so this sounds like well, a winning. It's a different concept, and it sounds like it's a good concept. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's, I mean, obviously in Australia, the, the, the syndication concept has taken off. And the, 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 the reason for syndication, and I mean, the Australian model where they've got, you know, a thousand guys in the horse and, and that type of thing, is, is basically to give access to the, the layman at the street, the punter in the, in the tattoo souls, the, the, the guy that, that, you know, trying to afford the would, would love to be part of racing, but, but just never can be. And, and, and this concept, 
obviously green light thing is the homework books. But people can get behind this team in a, in a subscription-based manner and participate and, and experience racing from, a, from a, 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 a different angle, from a more insider type of angle for, for a very, very affordable amount. And uh, this is, this is the, the idea, is that, you know, with syndication, you've tied into a horse, so you would buy into a syndicate and you are involved in a horse called Winx, which will be great. But you might be involved in Mirkat, you know, not so good. <laughs> not that great. And, and, and with this uh, green lighting model, the, the, the model is to replenish the horses the whole time. So, so green lighting as the owner will be having horses and, and hopefully with the, the, the growth of, of our subscriber base, the, the, the base, the, the face of the sports team, of which will consist of the horses, will grow and, and uh, you know, basically be replenished through this model where, you know, you, you're going to be involved while you subscribe in all of the forces um, and, and not be tied into one and if it's a dud, then, you, then you've, you've done your money. Uh, in, in this way, you can stay involved for, for as long as, as, as you subscribe and, 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 and be part of something that can really grow into something big and be a force to be reckoned with in is other I mean we've we've got the big racing teams like uh Lothabos and and, 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 and the, the slacks with the with, with the, the Oppenheimers and the Ruperts and I mean there's this uh, uh, Dodd Johnson and I mean these are all big owners, uh, Suzette and Marcy, they they've got a lot of horses running. And and, and this could you know, give the, the layman at this, on, on the street a, for, a, a chance to be part of something similar like that. Yeah. But not that you better explain. Yeah, so, 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 so it's important to note that there are several caveats, specific details that need to be explained in order for yes. to be fully understood. It's definitely not a pyramid. It's so, so to know, it's allowed it. Yeah. And it's very clear from the beginning that there's no theme of uh, money being made on money being made on money. It, it purely, this is a racing team that you pay a subscription to be part of. When the horses within said racing team, and currently we add free, the amount will grow eventually as a subscriber count grows a lot. If I could interrupt you for a moment, the, let's talk about those three because Zimbabwe is, is, as you say, at two seconds for, for the team. Yeah, so it's fabulous. Yeah, so, so there's prize money being earned by these horses, and that's very really important to not note. So, subscribers of Green Light, for instance, will earn a point equivalent of the prize money that horses earn that are within that team. So Zoom Bomber, for instance, earned 20,000 grand. That 20,000 grand will be allocated into a separate fund and points will be allocated to each and every subscriber to a decimal factor. You can look on the Patreon subscription page. There's a very informative piece that we wrote that explains this decimal fraction thing perfectly and simply in late. So Patreon is, is your... Yeah, that's a, sub, a platform where we, where we host a subscription service. They're one of the best in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they, they are currently one of the best in the world. Um, uh, and uh, they might even become listed in the American stock extraction, not car picture. They are a very big uh, American pack for it. Um, and they international, basically. So every single bank in the world has the ability to use their services facilities. So... Uh, in any case, the points that get allocated um, but can eventually be withdrawn by the subscribers of Greenlight. After you reach what we would consider the 250 point mark, which is directly equivalent to 250 Rand, you can withdraw your money and we will send it. So, in this sense, the racing team is very similar to the sense that you, the horse in the team wins prize money and you, the subscriber, gets prize money out. But there's never been and never was a transference of ownership. Green Lightning is the owner of the books. Green Lightning then uses the prize money earned by these horses to give its subscribers a service. It's almost like a membership, like a club in essence. So uh, that is the most simple part to explain and the thing. And, 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 but to most people, this would seem normal and it makes sense and so on. Uh, the thing that might give people red flags is the fact that you could refer so let's say i'm the subscriber to green lighting and i want to refer my dad so i've subscribed to this wonderful service now i've seen all of what they had to offer 
everything and so on and so forth. And, and I can see, well, I could refer a person and let's say it's dad next. I tell him, listen, dad, I've got this new wonderful service. I'd like you to subscribe to the service. The service would give me a subscription referral code. And I would tell dad, use the subscription referral code, pigs. And that each and every month, I would be allocated 50 points for as long as he stays subscribed. If he stops subscribing, I lose that 50 points per month. So that 50 points is, in essence, equatable to 50 rand a month that you would earn. If you refer two people, it would be 100 rand for as long as those people stay subscribed. So the general term for this in, is affiliate market. It's not multi-level marketing in any sense, because that sounds like it's, you know, we're not trying to sell you verbal life or anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is affiliate marketing. You'd find it in insurance brokers, etc. You get paid a referral for putting business to us. That's basically the essence thing. So, and that to people could make it even more beneficial. Eventually, if you refer enough people, your subscription is free and you just enjoy the benefits of the sales. Um, so that's a wonderful thing. It's not only you only earning points from the forces running, you can refer people as well. And um, but what's wonderful about it is we can create involvement with these people. When you're at the races and the green light horse is running, you're welcome to come into the ring at Shoutful Horse Hope with us. It's about creating community and unity within the sport of horse racing for a, uh, people that generally might not have ever been involved in that type of way. The only excitement they've ever felt is perhaps winning the pick six or having uh, picking out an outsider to win the race. It's a whole different feeling having that vested interest or feeling of it is our horse that is running well. So that's the type of feeling that we want to create with people. Simulate the experience of owning a racehorse with it being very accessible financially at the same time. Which is important to note, the current um, subscription cost is approximately 320 rand per month which is very affordable when you look at how much people pay and place on bets and so on it's per month only 320 and that amount will not change regardless of how many horses are in the team you say <clears throat> about 320 and an interesting as to why it's about it's yeah so with the views why it's so about. so i'm saying about because patreon as a service is an american company so the amount that will be charged is a US dollar amount. But that dollar amount will be taken out of your South African bank account. So $15 is approximately 320 Rand now. So if you subscribe, it'll say $15, but then you put in your Capitec account or whatever, and you'll see on your Capitec account there's 320 Rand that's been withdrawn. Like I say, it's a very. Just hope the country does the stuff with us. Yeah, so, 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 yeah, so. The so elections coming, the, so it might get better or worse. That's, that's <laughs> the thing. It's, 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 it's generally stable. Um, yeah. And in the long term, we are looking at alternatives eventually to find a RAND based one to make it more stable. But Patreon is an excellent service. It, it, it gives us access to everything that we'd like to give the subscriber. There's um, a direct messaging feature, it's, there's a holistic messaging feature. I can share with people specific videos and social media and stories about the horses that are running that only subscribers can see. It's behind the paywall. So it gives an interactive experience, not only in person, but online as well to all of our subscribers. You may, you may well have somebody who wants to subscribe that's in Mauritius. Yeah, so this allows, this allows an international base of subscribers as well. It makes it accessible in that sense too. What uh, is there? What's what, I mean? Is there what other communication channels besides that website? Do you have a WhatsApp group or a, something like that? So we do have a WhatsApp business number. Um, we will be creating so uh, that will be used to communicate with people when horses are running. Should they not watch on Patreon and so on? But I do communicate via that way. But WhatsApp is also a very good way to communicate with all of our subscribers. We do have access to all of their numbers. That is something that we ask them once they subscribe, so that we can add them onto the WhatsApp groups and so on. Um, yeah, so, so there's numerous ways of communication with our subscribers. And, and, and it's just father and son, the two of you. Tell us about who runs the admin and, and I mean, it's, 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 it's so exciting, but it's yeah. just the two of you. Yeah, so we, we're very busy, obviously, both of us. Um, he's busy training and, and trying to run up and down the country. I mean, we're here now, so imagine. So After a successful day yesterday, well done. I know maybe the one horse was a little disappointing, but you had a winner. That's the most important thing. For sure, Warren. It's always, always nice to come down to Natal, and our horses run very, very well here. And obviously, you know, with the poly track that, that, that you guys have got, that we haven't got access to anything sand-wise in Joburg, 
anymore. You know, this, this is a, a nice alternative for horses. But uh, basically, uh, uh, Zander is the manager of the, of the sports team of, of, of Green Lightning Racing. And, uh, uh, you know, obviously, I, I train the horses. And, and uh, 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 like Zander say, with the with uh, Patreon platform, which is a, a really, really le reputable uh, um, sort of subscribing platform. Uh, platform. Yeah, it's, it's a well-known website. You know, it, it's, it's easy to, to, to do the, the admin around that and so on. So, so basically, just touching on the horses, we've got three horses in the team at the moment, of uh, which uh, Zoom Bomber, you know, obviously ran two seconds uh, of late, and and uh, you know he's he's poised to win, and and, and uh, I think go on. He's, he's really you know improved with time, and he's maturing nicely, um, a nice sort of staying type of horse, and uh, uh, the you know he's as I say he's he's poised to win and, and should give the guys a, a good bit of uh, fun and, 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 and hopefully we can get a whole bunch of guys to get behind him. Uh, the, 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 the Philly Linger No More uh, came back from uh, 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 Mr. Makins' uh, um, the, 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 the deceased estate and uh, uh, she had a nice rest on the farm and uh, uh, her first run back on Thursday she ran a very, very promising uh, seven lengths off in the distance probably a bit on the short side for her so she's going to improve quite nicely and I think there's a good couple of wins still left in her and then we've got a youngster that hasn't run yet amply named Green Lightning a, a filly by Patala Palace uh, out of a very very nice uh, female line that that is showing very nice work and you know the guys can obviously go and look at some gallops and uh, starting stall footage of, of, of them all on, on the on their Patreon uh, 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 page once they've subscribed and you know be informed on them so we, we, we're kicking off this thing with with uh, a team of three horses and and hoping to you know with with uh, everybody's support uh, uh, you know and, and, and as the subscriber amount uh, uh, builds to, to build the team into a formidable force and you know get some horses from the sales and 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 and, and just keep it keep it rolling I really think this is a brilliant concept that uh, Zander came up with and uh, as I say, I, I hope we get the support for it. That's also nice that the stakes have increased. Yeah, to a certain extent, that is nice. It makes it, it makes it more viable, and it's very important to note as well that uh, Corne has always that has always been known for his ability to pick horses at a relatively cheap price. So once we get this team rolling and so on, the selection of horses that we'll be bringing into this team. You've got a shout of having a very good horse between all of them. If I can tell you all the different horses we've purchased for under 150,000 Rand that have won full black type races and so on, it's, it's pretty shocking actually. <laughs> uh, very good horses that we purchased in the past due to his eye and granddad's eye. But I mean, it's, it's, uh, that's one thing that, like I say, our reputation as a stable is, is tied with the screen lightning. Well, I'm glad mm -hmm. you mentioned that because, as you say, we, you know, when, when these, these type of things and, and other business ventures, people get a little nervous. But as you say, you know, you've plastered and posted the family legacy space name to it. Yeah. You're not going to mess around. No, there's no, <laughs> that's not, not something we'd be lawyer. willing. And yeah, there's no, there's no, there's no point in trying to mess around with well, things. Yeah. So it's, you can always defend yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. the, how did you get the name Green Lightning? It's a great name. Warren, it's, 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 it's an interesting one. You know, when, when my dad started uh, way back in the 70s, he first bred some horses and then, you know, when he, uh, the foals grew up, he applied for an a owner's trainer's license back then where you could only train your own horses. And, you know, he was a surveyor and a senior official on the, on the coal mines for Anglo-American. And, uh, you know, he did this as a hobby sideline. And uh, he thought, OK, he's going to have green racing colours. So he had, he, you know, he went to the jockey club and, and uh, there was an old lady there uh, by the surname of Vessels that... Uh, did the you know the colors like uh, Zodwa at the jockey club now in, in Joburg and uh, he, he got there and they had all these cards with the colors on and you know he first had his own colors designed and she said no you can't design your own colors and uh, he said okay but what's available and she threw these cards on the table and he saw those green ones and he thought he wants those and uh, he says no he'll have those and she says no you can't have that and uh, they said, but why you said I can have any of these? She said, but it's green. 
<laughs> and, and, you know, the uh, people that, that's been in racing for a long time, the old timers, you know, there's, there's a huge superstition about uh, green being very unlucky. And, and there's, there's a lot of stories going around about trainers, you know, that, that wouldn't allow an owner with a green car to come and visit at the, at the yard. Or if the lady would wear a green, something green to races on the day, you know, the, the horse's chances are shot, etc., etc. But there was a there was a horse called Green Lightning. It was trained by Terry Ryan. That's right. Yeah. But you, you talk about horse, yes. you talk yeah. about um, green clothing. A quick one. Uh, years ago, a friend of mine we had the races. After the first race, he I'm off to the loo. He went off to the loo. Came back and he says, "What is this cap? What is our shirt? Is it happened? You know what's happened?" He said, oh, "I've just discovered something in the toilet." I said. Is he going to find a growth or is he found something? <laughs> What's happened? He says, I didn't realize I've got green underwear on. <laughs> I said, oh my gosh. I said, so I said, I said Andy, he said, oh, I'm going to do my life. I have to go home. I said, so I said, sit down and shut up. Stop being silly. He got 180 grand on the day. He put the pixies, he put the jackpot. He said he went home and framed the underwear. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. That's so, yeah, the, the short and the long is uh, green's been very lucky for us over the years. Um, I mean, uh, uh, Dad's had a lot of success with these green colors and uh, uh, you know so so we thought okay well let's stick to the green theme and uh, uh, you know obviously find something that's that's catchy with it and and, and lightning is a is a very fast thing so, <laughs> so. obviously again with the inspiration from American sports teams we looked at a name that is poppy and flashy to a certain extent mm -hmm. so we didn't want to go specifically with the idea of uh, classic elitism in our logo and our design we wanted to make it welcoming like a sports team yes. green lightning seems exciting mm. when you say it. it it's an exciting way of wording things so so that's that's one of the main reasons and the green like you said that comes from a family le legacy and a, a heritage and yeah you know, so it's it's nice bringing that that uh, idea through to this type of venture. Going back to green, I mean, Robert Sangster was very, very unlucky yeah? Yeah, no, look, I mean, uh, <laughs> can you imagine what Kumo would have been? <laughs> how long has this taken you? I mean, how far back did this concept of this thought struck you, strike you? you know, when did you think this is what we need to do? So we started discussing the idea, not the entire concept in its entirety. We, we kind of... Uh, soundboarded off of each other as to what we could do and so on. That started in 2020, but the finalization of the idea, I would say, was mid-2022. And then we had to try and figure out, but how do we facilitate this? Do we create our own website that hosts a subscription? Well, there's advantages and disadvantages to that. It costs a certain amount of money. And the safety with regards to the banking apps and so on, and is your uh, account details safe? All of that, we had to think of all of that. And eventually we decided, no, We'll use a third-party platform to host it. And uh, we finalized the idea, I think, let's say mid to late 2023, 20, uh, to, to be sure what to do. And then we launched, the well, let's say very recently, so a month ago approximately, let's say a bit less than a month ago. And uh, we're only hoping to get traction. <laughs> and, and you say you're only hoping to get traction, which we will get. Yeah, I've got no doubt about that. But you've already got a small amount of, of, of subscribers already, but it's, as you say, it's only less it's, than a month old. It's, so. yeah, it's, it's, I mean, those people I've directly approached, people that have always messaged speech racing social media accounts and so on, where I ask them directly, well, listen, we've got this new thing. I, I'm, I'm aware of the fact that you're not interested in purchasing horses due to whatever circumstance, yes. uh, but we've got this new exciting adventure. Uh, it is us that is introducing this to you. It's not a third party that's yes, now coming yeah. and maybe looking a bit shady. Would you be interested in subscribing? Here's how it works. Here's how much it costs per month. And the feedback that I've gotten from the people that are already involved is very positive. They've been enjoying it a lot. Sure. Yeah. yeah, well, look, I mean, we've only just started running and there's two seconds in the bank. And, yeah, uh, so, I mean, uh, it, it looks good to people that have recently subscribed. <laughs> it's, it's, it's horses yeah. that, you know, barring the baby, you know, if whatever subscriber, you, if, if he pays his subscription on, on Tuesday, he could have a run in, at the, you know, next week. Literally like that, yeah. 100%. Yeah. And eventually the goal is to have so many horses in the team, should the subscription account allow it, that there would be runners every single week. Yes. Every single week. Every mm. single week runners. And, and, and that is the goal that we are aiming towards eventually. Uh, so, I mean, it's not like a fly by night scheme. You've, you've taken like, three or four years to 
to properly develop this mm -hmm. idea. Develop yeah. idea yeah. Um, and, and like I said, there's a proper terms of service that is linked to, to the Patreon that you can go and read. There's a proper frequently asked questions that explains everything in layman's terms so that things that might seem a bit difficult to understand or might seem like this is too good to be true or what are they trying to get from me here? Why does it seem so simple? It explains it thoroughly and properly. Um, we really paid attention to the fact that we need to inform the public that subscribe to the service what the service truly is. There's no pulling, like wool, area, pulling wool over people's eyes or grey areas or anything of this sort. And, and as you said, quite simply, it's to enjoy the racing experience, Basically. come to the ring, communicate with you, chat with you, meet other members. Yes, 100%. And, and, and enjoy a team sport, absolutely. I 100%. Mean, it can't be more simpler than that. So. No, Basically a race day experience or, yes. or involvement or, or, the or basically, yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. there'll be open days at stables for the, for the Green Lightning horses and, and, and members and, and, and things like that, you know, get people to understand racing from behind the scenes. I think a lot of guys are, are, are really, really keen on racing and, and, and follow it uh, avidly, but have very little understanding of, of the workings of, of, you know, what happens in the, in the racing yeah. yard, how, how things sort of fit into each other and, and you know, we've, we've uh, recently started a question and answer things on our, on our Facebook I page that. and, and it's, it's interesting that the, the type of questions people ask, you know, it's, it's, it's all very legitimate but, but it, it, it basically just comes down to, you know, people getting the understanding of, of how difficult it actually is to get a winner. Yeah. It's, yeah. You know, the permutation easy. of things that needs to, needs to go your way is, is, is yeah. unfathomable. And, and yet there's a winner in every race. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's amazing. That I know that some people have been in racing for a long time. They've always been interested. But they've never understood actually the, the, mecha the real basic mechanics of Behind the sport. They yeah. just picked up the computer film or the winning form. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's also... And then they say, well, the horse ran badly. The interesting thing is, is that... <laughs> from my perspective and, and what I've seen so far is that these people are unaware as to the workings of racing because nobody yeah. has ever taken the time out of their day to explain it to them. And that's always been the case. And like I said, one, once again with this green lightning thing, we are trying to create a community, a type of team spirit and with people to involve them in racing, to embrace them into the sport that uh, I'm so in love with in a way that... Uh, is accessible and affordable to them. But it's right. almost like having a bet on, 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 on a horse without actually putting any money down. Yeah, it's like almost you like that. three hundred rand, and, and then you, you don't actually own the horse, but you shout at home. Yeah, yeah. every oh, single yeah. time. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, you 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 basically part of a team, and and there's a sense of belonging. And I think it's 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 literally we're living in very exciting times. With you know, I mean, you guys with the po podcasts you're doing, it's, it's so informative, and it, it really teaches people things, and and it gives gives everybody an idea of what's happening behind the scenes. And we really need to get to the to the younger generation. You know, Zander's age, and and you know, the millennials that 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 you know, well, we we are missing in racing. Yeah. They, 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 we, there needs to be an introductory type of thing that 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 gets people interested and behind the sport again and 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 uh, I, I really as i say with with the the the, the uh, social media and, and electronic age we're living in one's got to be innovative and and i really i really think zander's zander's on to something here i mean you, you you are a um, what's the word a direct person i mean you, what's your opinion i think it's great i might even there we go. There we go. Now, for him to say that, you've got to know it's a good concept. Goodness gracious me, because he doesn't part with the round. I, I was going to buy me a beer, nothing. I was really holding my breath on that answer. <laughs> I've got a question. Say, say you happen to, to flick a uh, wink for argument's sake. A very good horse. A very a good horse. horse. And sell it for a couple of million. Yeah. Where does that money go? You or the, into the So obviously, yeah. obviously from a business perspective on the book end, the, the, the profits will be earned by the company and there will be tax implications with regards to those profits earned. But we would like to then use that type of money to try and boost the service to eventually create more profit. So we'll acquire more horses with that. But you'd really find us, if we really find a very good horse, 
the idea with the service is to keep that very close. <laughs> so, so, so unless it's under, we under all under very big duress, then yeah. that horse will generally stay in the team. If we catch a winx, a lot of those people you'll never see. That's so rare. You don't find them. You no, really no, don't. No, so, no. I understand the economic incentive of selling horses, but generally we'd like to keep a hold of all of our good horses. Andrew, it's it's, it's a very interesting thing that you know, and we've we've over the years we've we've sold a couple of horses overseas. And it is, it is such a, 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 a conundrum when you get offered big money for a horse. Um, and I've, I've, every time that, I mean, you know, Basil Linnington that, that uh, passed recently in Australia sold rock opera after her four wins here in South Africa. I mean, she's been a revelation at stud as yeah. well. But, you know, he sold her for back then roughly about five million rand. And it was a lot of money. And, and my heart sort of shrunk because I, I, I knew the money implication. And I thought to myself, if it was my horse, even though five million would have changed my address five times over, would I have sold? And my heart says there's no ways I would have sold. My head says you cannot not sell. But this is what makes this, this um, uh, uh, um, model so exciting for me, is because I don't think we'll sell. The, the idea is, if you have a good horse, that is the sports star. That is, that's what this is all about, is having that good horse that you can follow and be behind. And, you know, it doesn't matter what money gets offered. Yeah. That's what we're all in racing for, is to have that good horse. That's, that's the, the whole idea. So, so it, it, it'll, it, you know, the, the, the financial model of, of Green Lightning will really have to be in dire straits to, <laughs> to, sell, <laughs> to, to sell. And the other thing is, you know, if you have such a good horse, that'll just inspire more people to, to, to subscribe. Yeah. So there's, there's and that just, the, that just grows the whole model to, be, to, to enable and, and, and us to, to have more horses and in the team. And you not want to sell. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so, they would subscribe so, quickly because if you're able to, you know, as I said, if you're paying, if, if the wings month, yeah. type of horse yeah. is running on the weekend and you subscribe on Tuesday, you've got you're, you're on, involved. Blah, blah, blah. You're involved. That's so right. it, would, yeah. it would boost the, you know, keep it, mm -hmm. the, but also too, as you mentioned earlier on, uh, the horses are owned by Green Lightning. I mean, yeah. that's I but the that racing way. company Green Lightning yeah. owns the horses. Ownership is never conferred to subscribers. That is very important to Absolutely. mention. That's it's a very, very clear game. point to know. But uh, Green Lightning, as a company, provides services towards its subscribers. subscribers. There's a terms of service and everything like that, sure. and, and so on. So. So, um, yeah, it is a very, very exciting idea. I think. Netflix, you, you know, Netflix gives you, you pay a subscription to Netflix yeah, and you, you watch Netflix. The, yeah. For as long as you subscribe. subscribe. So, so obviously, it's, I guess a caveat point of view is that you can cancel your subscription anytime you like. If you have points that are inside of there, we'll keep them for an extended period of time. We do mention that time frame uh, in our terms of service. And should you then eventually resubscribe, then that those points will still be live. But after a certain point, they will be wiped out. But there's in the terms of, and it's not an unreasonable time. We understand that people always go through different types of economic hardships. So if you need to cancel, it's not the end of the world. You can resubscribe again. Um, uh, we'd like to prefer to have you subscribe all the time, which is, yes, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Now, obviously, once you're not subscribed, you miss out on, 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 on earning new points yeah. again. But, and all uh, that, yeah. but basically, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, I think it's a, it's a really sort of novel ownership type of idea. It's, 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 it's not ownership, but it, it gives you access to the a continuous of yeah. uh, renewal of, of, of a racing team, sense of belonging, and, 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 you know, just sort of get behind us. You know, I think it, with syndicates, I mean, this is not a syndicate, but I'm just saying, we, you, you hear people that have got a share in syndicate, the one you said, but you know, we could talk, it's, we've got to run it today, that's, you know, right. that's, a, that's our horse, or, you know, that's, it doesn't matter what we said into, it's the, it's the, and that's exactly what you will get from your members, the, the, the feed, yeah. correct, yeah. off to the race to see our horse run. Because at the end of the day, life is about experience and feeling. Uh, we, we chase experiences because it gives us feeling. Yes. If we were logical creatures solely and purely, we would not worry about <laughs> so that or anything opinion. for that matter that isn't important to our existence or continued living. Yes. But we as humans are emotional beings. We like to experience and this can give people that have never experienced that special feeling that horse racing can confer, it, it enables them to feel that, which but is beautiful. beautiful. Also, I'm just, just trying to get my head around. Um, 
you're a one-time subscriber. Okay. So, um, this is Rupert Clark, I'll invite I'll, 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 I'll for much for all the shares. Sure. So, no, well, everybody's equal. Yeah, That's everybody correct. is equal. And, and there's no limit to the amount of shares available. Each and every person, like I said, there's a decimal factor that determines the prize money allocation per the amount of horses. Not per the amount of subscribers, per the amount of horses in a team. But there's no limit to it. Like, there can be a million subscribers. We're going to have a lot of horses. If there's a million subscribers, <laughs> it'll be more than 100 horses. But so, yeah, so. Be happy. Yeah, well, you'd all <laughs> be very happy. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 yeah, there's, there's no limit. And we, like you said, everybody has an equal footing. There's yeah. no person that barks and says, well, I'm more important than you. Everybody is as important as the next one. Yeah, the question, I, yeah, not bad, you were old age. It's, you know, well, I'm this, I, think <laughs> the, I think the simplest term to describe this is the democratization of racing. That's what it creates. Every single person is equal. Hmm. Where, for those that might not know, Pune, where, is, where are your stables located? We, we're at uh, Rankies Fontaine. I see the race card still has us at the Vol. We've, we've relocated from the Vol about Two years, years ago, now that you said, really, yeah, sorry, uh, I made a mistake. Just like you, I was 10 points for you. <laughs> well, since for your subscription fee will be six, basically, you know, set up, set up the yard at, at Rankies. Uh, Dad obviously started out at the Vol years ago he, in '85. He moved to the Vol, you know, when he started his open license and. Uh, uh, I mean, the rest is his history. We've been at the Vol for, for you know, close on 40 years, and uh, uh, but it was time to 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 relocate. And uh, uh, I found a lovely lady in Pretoria and uh, uh, moved the, the the yard to 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 um, to, to Rankies. It's it's uh, uh, I think it's the way to go. You know, Pretoria is uh, just around the corner, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. basically, it's 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 close by, and and uh we got a, a a yard of 50 boxes there at rankies with uh close on 40 horses in the yard at the moment uh it's it's a it's a long long cry from you know the pre covid times where we had like 160 170 horses in training you know with kimberly running and and and, and all over the place but uh, it's going well and the yard's really coming you know turned a corner at the right time too i think you know we've had a couple of winners the the, the last couple of weeks and uh, obviously had some very successful raids uh, to Natal in the last uh, season. So, so I think all in all we positioned very well and uh, you know to, to, to use this uh, platform, the national sales is in a, in a week's time so uh, you know looking forward to get some new stock as well and you know one's got to keep on replenishing it's like a conveyor belt you, you need to keep on feeding it from the back to, to get the results in front. So I'm hoping that uh, we can have some nice re support at the sales again. And uh, yeah, we, I think the, 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 the general vibe for the yard is, is very positive and we're going the right way. You still got that bus of yours that you the we, horses along. <laughs> we, in, initially we, we, we uh, bought the truck to, to raid Kimberley with and yeah. we did so very successfully, Andrew. I sold it uh, uh, late sold last it. year after uh, we did uh, 750,000 kilometers on it and uh, uh, you know I think we we stuck something like almost uh, five and a half million rands of diesel th through its through its motor but uh, it's really done us very proud but we just haven't got the numbers to to sustain uh, uh, you know running our own truck anymore and and obviously there's there's enough trucking companies running up and down that you I know that we can that use like a yeah, so look, we, we, we would, <laughs> yeah, we would pull up with a whole truckload and have a lot of fun, and then yeah. on the way back, you know, sometimes you you don't you don't win a, a single yeah. check, and then yeah. the, the road's very long back, and yeah. uh, you know, other times it, it feels like you've just left and you and you and you're offloading yeah. again. Yeah. yeah. But but yeah. also, what's nice about this uh, uh, subscription uh, uh, green lightning scheme, not scheme. Uh, um, you can call it a scheme. scheme. It's an idea. It's a, it's a concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah. Is that, you know, if somebody subscribes who's Durban based, well, they'll know that at some stage you always pop in and have runners. And yeah. Not always, but you're, right, you're yeah. not scared to come to Durban. Yeah. And, you know, if you're a Joburg based person, then you've got Joburg. Cape Town, obviously, I you do have had, had runners. But he always yeah. comes to Spotswood and cleans up to you. Yeah, yeah so, we, so. we have a lot of fun in, in, in KZN. Uh, the dad won the Queen's Plate in, in Cape Town with Yardmaster in 1988. So <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, we, we I, I think one of the one of the uh, 
uh, interesting little rhymes that we've you know been attributed to us was have horse can travel you know yes. so so we're not we're not scared to travel horses no, we've we've uh, you know been all over the country I, you, there's not a race course in in in, in sort of sub-Saharan Africa that we haven't had a winner on, even the closed ones. Yeah. So, you know, we, we were lucky enough to uh, uh, be the champion trainer in Zimbabwe in, in, in uh, I think it was 2015, you know, so, so I always enjoy a challenge and that, that seemed like something, you know, let's try and do that and then we managed it and uh, it's, it's really been, it's, it's been such, a, such a ride that racing's offer us, uh, you know, our whole family. Uh, it, it's it's, it's, a, it's a, a magic game. And uh, it's, it's wonderful to be involved in it. And like I say, this green lightning concept really gives people the opportunity to get into it. We've got, we've got about 60 meters left to go of the podcast because while wow, it's been a forger, but there's a couple of features I the school need to ask. Do you have a sponsor? Did you have a sponsor? Uh, Hollywood Bets and uh, uh, obviously their, their kickoff winning, winning form. They've, they've been sponsoring us for a couple of years. And... Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's been a great partnership with them. Uh, we, we had a stable bride the one day where they had their, their team, you know, signing guys up and, you know, with, the, with flags and the, all, the, all the fanfare that Hollywood's so well known for. And I mean, what, what a July they, they put on last year, Warren. I mean, it, it, it was just uh, uh, in a different level. And I think, you know, the fact that it's a sponsor that, that understands racing, they, they know what it's about. And, and they really know their clientele. Uh, I think that's what makes them so, so successful is that they, they really cater for the, for the punter and they know what people want. Mm -hmm. and, and they've been, I really think they, they hit it on the head with a July last year and I'm sure they're gonna improve on it this year. So, so yeah, Hollywood Bets, they, they, they've been with, with, with racing forever. They're really one of the, the, the big sponsors of the game and, and, and it's so nice that, that, that Owen and his team, you know, supports racing in the way that they do because I think racing is a very small little part of their turnover yes, yes. Um, but but the fact that they're so passionate about mm. it really so, really yeah, you're right it, 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 it does regen as you said maybe a small part of their turnover or if it's an Indian milk park but a small spot but what they put back in their passion is huge. I mean, it doesn't balance it for you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they... yes. racing. And the, yeah, yeah. The, I mean, Hollywood is, has a meteoric rise of success. I, I, I'm talking under correction here, but I believe it. they are the largest uh, bookmaker in South Africa at this stage. Sure. I mean, I they, they, they're, they're sponsoring, they're sponsoring uh, sports teams in Europe and, and so on. And you generally don't see South African yes, uh, bookmakers yes. sponsoring sports teams that have Premier League deals and so on, where the visibility is millions and millions of eyes. That's a lot of money you have yeah. to pay to sponsor it's, it. It's really great that they're not hogging yeah. the money. They're really putting back. Yeah. And, and community-wise, I mean, you look at the community Hollywood incentives. Yeah. Yeah. It, is, it is just really phenomenal what they, what they have achieved. And, and, you know, great to be associated with them and, and, and really, really just wishing them all the success for the future. Couldn't agree with you all. Couldn't agree with you all. But now, Two very important questions. How does a member of the public query uh, if they have a query or, or a question to ask? And uh, secondly, how do they join it? Because that's, for me, we need to know now. Because, oh, yeah. Yes. Did they ask, so how does one reach? I wish I could just reach through the screen and poke on your phone and just show you that <laughs> way. But an easy way to get a hold of me would be to email me at zanderspice at gmail.com. Xander is spelled with an X, so that's very important, but Spice is, it's a S-P-I-E-S, -E it's a, it, it, not, not difficult to, to write down. Yeah. Uh, you can message, you can send me an email via that email address, I'll respond to you amply. And also, if you want to find Green Lightning's Patreon page, you can just type in Green Lightning Racing Patreon on uh, Google, or you can go to our several social media platforms. We have one on Facebook and Instagram, you can just go and search them via the search tab and the link to the Patreon will be on those social media accounts. So you go to Patreon and all the information is there? All of the information regarding the service is on the Patreon. You can scroll down, it's like a social media. You scroll down, there's articles that I've written and have photos attached and so on. And the subscribe now button is very clear and everything is explained very thoroughly. So when you click subscribe, it'll ask you your bank details as in your card account number, 
that CIV code or whatever you have to type in when you make an online purchase or so on, it'll make for purchase and every single month, 30 days or 31 days after said purchase, it'll re recharge your account at the same amount again. Mm -hmm. It's, it's as simple as that. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's really as simple as that. No it? paper work needs to be nothing, signed. Nothing at all. No, nothing at all. So, so obviously by clicking to subscribe, you do agree to our terms of service, which is readily available to read on our Patreon. Um, that is within our terms of service as well. But it's a form standard terms of service, and it explains our service very well as well. If you want a more watered down, easier to understand version that is not as legalese, on the page there is a frequently asked questions part that explains everything thoroughly. So you could just visit the website, the Patreon, and it'll explain itself basically. And like Xander said, yeah. yeah, like Xander said, you know, we on the Facebook page, uh, people are free to ask questions, uh, yeah, either on the Speech Racing page or the, yeah, the Green you can, Lightning You can page. DM any of us personally as well via social media. It's not that difficult mm. to find us and so on. And uh, yeah, we'd be more than willing to answer any questions that might come from us. Sure. Well, what's going to win with you? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Well, if that was the case, we probably wouldn't be needing to start new companies. <laughs> uh, it was only as easy as that. <laughs> but you know, I mean, you know, you mentioned that, and we 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 get a wrap up in a moment. But you know, it's it's a message that we always try to drum out. Uh, you know, that that it's so hard to 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 predict, and you know, whatever everything you get given, it's with an honest rightful of art, you know, if, if I come to you for TV and I say, you know, you said my best runner is so lucky that you interviews yesterday, and it's it's difficult to, you know, as you said, we wouldn't be working if we knew every single winner in every single race. So or, and you just cannot pinpoint it if, I mean, if, if anybody could, there would be no bookmakers around yes. and that person in one race would be able to, you well, know, be the richest person in the world as, possibly. As you say, so. you know, my horses worked well in the lead up to the race. I've looked at the fall, runs all right, et cetera, et cetera. And I think I've got a, a bit of a winning chance, mm. but you can't sort of say, certainty, can't lose, but you know, it's, it's, it's impossible. Uh, yeah, you, uh, Warren, it, it's, it's so interesting, you know, I mean, we came down with three horses yesterday. Uh, uh, our least fancied horse, fancied horse won the, the uh, Rocco Bismantova that I thought, well, he's, he's really in with a serious chance, uh, ran, a, ran a, a poor race and, and this morning was, was unhappy on the one leg, so, so he obviously felt something in the race. These are things you just cannot predict yeah. and, and Zoom, Zoom Bomber ran a cracker again. Yeah. So it so often happens, you know, when we had a lot of horses, we'd be running, you know, two, three horses in a race. And I cannot tell you how often it would happen that the horse that you fancy finished last of the three and the one that you fancy, fancy least finished first of the three, whether it's, whether it's first or, or third last. Uh, you know, it, it basically, you, you, you just cannot predict it. And, and it, it so often happens that trainers get it so wrong. <laughs> you, you, you look at the work in the morning and what transpires at the track is just so different. But... Uh, uh, the, the big thing, again, as I say, that's getting in behind the scenes and, 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 and the inner workings of, of, of what happens in the racing yard. And, and uh, I think a lot of people will, will really benefit a lot from, from getting that inside information and, 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 you know, gaining a bit of insight. Yeah, we're talking about inside information. Often as people ask you, yeah, but if you bump into the happen to bump into the right trainer on the day, they think, oh, she's so bad. We think we're so good. We watch it. You bump into some other trainer on the day, so the only person who will go to the one down the place. Oh, okay. And it might be the same the well, same so trainer same on same different trainer. days. Yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. So the, 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 you're quite right. But the point I, I'm making is that appreciate the public must, including ourselves, appreciate you know all the different platforms, all the different trainers, etc. Whatever comment is shared. You know, it's it's tough. I mean, they appreciate that you see some people on Facebook insulting one another. You know, it's 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 you know you do need to you, 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 with a good heart to try and help everybody and to try and predict the future. I don't know anybody that can predict the future. No, well, so so uh, that person would either hide themselves very thoroughly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, or there would be no such thing as gambling in the first yeah, place. Absolutely, that's, but uh, that's it. So all I want to, to do is to wish you guys well. I, I can guarantee you. Uh, that you're going to get some queries. Uh, the first, the next two subscribers, I think, will be Andrew and Harrison and Warren and Verna. <laughs> if you're happy to take us, if you're happy to have us, uh, and also some of the guys behind the scenes. I was talking to Pee a bit about involving himself yeah. in the basis experience, and I'm sure that uh, he might consider it, and anybody else. So, 
to you guys all the best and, and thanks for thinking of such a, a wonderful initiative and uh, we will be following it with great interest and especially that we're going to be subscribers oh, we're hoping for the best and uh, yeah you will be able to say then after a few months how wonderful the experience is from that perspective yes, I'm yeah, really absolutely. really happy to hear that we've got a welcome reception from some of the people that we've spoken to so yeah, it shows that we aren't complete idiots sometimes but <laughs> <laughs> oh we know we most are of the time idiots, yeah but <laughs> so what you, a, a broken clock is right twice a day I'm hoping that is this is the right twice a day part and not the broken part so. what an Andrew, thank you very much for having you, uh, you know, having us on your platform, you know, the, where we can introduce this. And uh, yeah, we're um, very thankful for the uh, opportunity. We, we, we certainly follow you with interest as well. well thank and, you. Uh, and uh, all we the do. best. We're very proud of our podcast, and we still can't get over the fact that we get a lot of hits and views. But as you say, it's an informative show. It's a, it's a chill show, and we open up with open arms, you know, to those that want to, within reason, come and, and say this. We're you most welcome. Um, but yeah, thank you for this kind of We look forward to seeing you at Kauteng. We look forward to seeing you at the sales. Yeah. Uh, and thank you for our caps. We will certainly wear them with pride. <laughs> and uh, for those of you that have watched this, this show, which has really been a little long, but hugely <laughs> informative, uh, if you want to experience what it's all about, uh, I suggest you, you get onto those different platforms and say, this one way, yep, sign up and subscribe. Because I can tell you that we certainly are. From all of us here at the In The Boxing Podcast, punt well, Race well, be kind, love everybody, and we'll see you guys always in the number one box. Remember to subscribe, like, and follow us on the Gallup TV YouTube channel. If you missed last week's episode of In the Box Seat, click right here, and you'll be able to watch it at your leisure.